I've always had trouble organizing sandpaper. Like the small pieces will get mixed up with each other and I have to look at them individually to find the grit that I'm looking for, which I've never enjoyed. So uh, this has been a great improvement. It's, uh, you know, got these layers where you can easily get to whatever you're looking for. It can store a full sheet easily or little scraps easily um, without things getting, keeps everything flat, it's great. Uh, this is eighth inch masonite and it's kind of the right amount of heft. These are all just held in by gravity. There's no hinges or anything. Um, so if you want to make something like this, uh, this is 13 and a quarter. This is nine and three quarters. Um, and I just laid these out uh, carefully and then cut them out on the table saw carefully just with a, a rip cut and then that with a sled. I didn't get carried away doing it perfect. Like you can see, uh, you know, it's not, I didn't get carried away. So um, there's a lot of surface area with so many layers. And so don't underestimate how much you'll need to cut down. Uh, and one nuance that it would be easy to overlook is that I cut a little notch out of there so that your finger can get to the bottom one. Um, and on that note, I, I just put a less than 80 category because I don't keep anything smaller than 80 on hand or larger, but uh, if I ever get it, uh, there'll be a place for it. I'm not going to be cursing myself for the way I divided this up. So um, this has been a great system for me, huge improvement over what I had before. Um, for random orbit sander paper, I have kept it in here. I made this a long time ago and it's always worked well for me. Um, I've got the four grits that I have always kept on hand. I made it where these can be rearranged and I've got an extra one, but I've never needed that. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for better ways to organize your sandpaper, maybe one of these could be that for you. So thanks for watching.